We know he visits the coffee shop every day. He gets there about 9 o'clock at night and stays there for a few hours. He's mostly on the computer and on the phone. He rarely interacts with any of the staff, orders one espresso, then leaves. So why not simply snatch his machine? Negative. He never goes to the bathroom and he keeps it with him at all times. And everything is encrypted. He uses the shop's Wi-Fi and tunnels everything over Tor. Do we have anyone in the shop? We placed Samantha as a waitress a couple of weeks ago. Hi, dude. Hi. Here's your espresso. Thank you. Um, I never actually got your name serving you coffee all this time. It's Victor. 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 Oh, here we go. So, um, my girlfriend and I, we took some pictures this weekend. Um, and I think I put it onto this flash stick. But I also put my thesis onto this flash stick, but now I'm confused. And, you know, I don't want these pictures to get into the wrong hands. Do you mind if I check it on your computer? There is one problem, though. And when were you going to tell me he was gay, hmm? Remind me, what is it that you guys do here? That's a valid point, Smith. Very sloppy. I feed people who eat too much, and for what? When I make my Fortunately, money, she did again. manage to get us some good intel. You know, I did hear something. I'm not 100% sure what, but it was something along the lines of... No, no, no. Send it to my personal account, victordivenacher at gmail.com. Yes, PGP of course. Mm, the address might be useful. Could you verify it? We're on it. So a lot of the time you want to verify an email address, and of course you can't email the person directly. So I want to show you a quick uh, trick or methodology that you can use uh, to verify email address against a whole bunch of mail providers and something that you can use in the tool as well. Goodbye. Essentially what it comes down to is actually you're going to pretend to send mail. Uh, so the same way as if you're an MTA or a mail client and you're going to connect to the server and you're going to look at the responses that the server will give you based on who you're sending a mail to. So just to do it by hand here, uh, I'm going to show you in a shell quickly. So I'm just going to say, let's say we're sending to someone at Gmail, I'm going to say, host minus tmx gmail.com so I'm just looking up uh, gmail's uh, mx servers and there you'll see there's a whole bunch and I'm going to connect to this one so I'm going to say telnet to that device and now it says hi it's uh, google and I'm going to say hello I'm evil.com it says great let's google at my service uh, then I say okay well I'm sending mail from and let's say I'm andrew at evil.com and it says, great, we're good to go. So now what I can do is I can say, all right, I want to send this specific mail. I want to send it to, so I'm going to say RCPT2. And I'm going to put in something like, something that I know doesn't exist, at gmail.com. Okay, and you'll see that it's going to come back with a response uh, with a 550 code. So there you can see it at the beginning, which says, hey, this account doesn't exist. Um, and this actually happens on a whole bunch of different um, email providers, not just Gmail. So this is something where in the past they used to have the verify commands and things that have now become obsolete and have been removed. You can still use this. So if I send it to someone who does exist at Gmail, so if I send it to, let's say, andrew.test at gmail.com, you'll see that it says it sends me back a 250 code, which means, okay, great, that email address actually exists. So that's really nice to do. And within the tool, I can actually do that as well. So I can drag an email address on, and I can say, for example, this guy that we're trying to look up, I can say first maybe try like this, Victor Duvenhager at gmail.com, and I can try and look that up. So I'll say run the transform, verify email address exists, and this is actually going to go and connect to that domain, and it's going to try this trick where it says, okay, well, look, I can verify that you know this email address exists because this one doesn't, and the response is that the mail server is going to get me. Um, and this is one of the few transforms that actually won't return um, an entity off the one that you've run the transform on. Instead, it's going to update that entity. So here you can see for the first time uh, we've run it, it says email verification negative does not exist. Right, so maybe the spelling is a little bit different. So I'm going to try it as Victor with a K, uh, Victor Duvenhager at gmail.com. Right, and so now if I run it again, so I say verify email address exists, SMTP. Um, now it's going to go and do that, that test again and it's going to return it to me. Okay, so there we can see that it's come back and it says positive address exists. So now we can definitely say, well look, 
you know, that, that email address does exist on that server. And one of the other things we've done is that you can not only do it on an email address, but actually you can use um, a person. And we've written a transform called Verify Common, which essentially mutates a person's first name and last name into, you know, common forms. So example, this is John Doe. It would use something like john.do at gmail, uh, John D at gmail or hotmail, um, and try and find email addresses and then verify that they exist so that you can look it up based on a person. So for example, the person we're looking up is Victor Duvenhacher, and I can run this transform. You'll see it here, it says uh, to email address, verify common. <clears throat> okay, and this is gonna go and try a whole bunch of them. Um, and one of the nice things about this transform is that if you go and look at the settings, so while that's running, I'm just gonna go into the settings here. Uh, you can just click on that to get to the settings. You'll see that it has the options to um, add your own domains to check. So by default, we're just using gmail.com and hotmail.com. So these are two common providers uh, that do have this check. Obviously not all mail providers will give you back these responses, um, but if you do know of one, you can obviously go and add it in there. Okay, now that transform is just running and it's trying all the different combinations. And there we see the responses. So here's Victor Duvenacher at gmail.com. Obviously this is the guy that we were looking for, but also we can see he's got a, a hotmail address, um, and there's a Gmail address with a dot in, um, and there's some other Gmail, Gmail accounts that we could look at. So it's quite a nice way to be able to verify either on an email address that you think you have and you want to check exists, or based on a person to look at common uh, email addresses across various domains. Is this seat taken? And love